Hey guys, welcome to my 3ds Max tutorial on how to render an animation. So uh, let's begin by making a box. We're going to go under uh, geometry and we're going to make a box. It's a regular box. Let's see. Okay. Um, I'm going to put an animation to it. As you can see down here at the uh, time slider, there's no keyframe, so there's no animation. And um, I'll put an animation on it real quick so that we can render this animation. So um, I'm going to go over to Auto Key. I'm going to click that, and at zero, at the zero frame, I'm going to click this key to set a start point. I'm going to move the time slider up to ten frames, and I'm going to move the box to the. Um, I'm just going to move it to the right a little bit. Then I'm going to move it twenty frames, and I'm going to move it over here, and I'll spin it. And then I'll move it up to 30, and I'll move it to the left, and I'll spin it the other way. And then I'm going to keep doing this until up to 60, and we'll see how this goes. So I'm going to move this over here, and right here. Do do. Like that. 60. I'll move it up. Alright, so now once you have your animation, you can turn auto key off. And as you uh, slide the time slider uh, backwards, you can see that we now have a full animation. Uh, 3ds Max fills in these gaps, uh, fills them in, which is a really good feature. Now, how do we render this whole animation? Now, to render one picture, if we wanted to render this picture right here, we would go to rendering, render setup, and under common parameters, under time output, we would click single. But, if you wanted to render this whole moving, this whole movement right here, what you would do is you would go to rendering, render setup, under common parameters, you would click active time segment which is and this what this is is all of your frames down at the time slider it renders all of those frames so if it says 0 to 100 so if at the time slider if that was 0 to 200 and the active time segment would say 0 to 200 so you're going to click this active time segment button you're then going to scroll down to your render output this is where your file will be saved when 3ds max renders it into a movie so this is, where you're gonna, this is where you are going to save that movie so you can watch it. You're going to click files. You're then going to choose an area on anywhere on your computer where you want to save this video. So you would go to, um, let's say if you wanted to save it here, you would go here and you would type in the name of what you wanted to save. Like, uh, you would type in a name and then under formats you would click AVI right there that's the file you want to do you would then click save and then this quality meter will pop up you don't really want to touch that you should just click OK alright once you have your render output um, done and this active time segment button clicked click the render button and you will then see it to start to render um, so we'll just wait for this to finish rendering I guess Okay, it's almost done. Okay. Once it's done rendering, you could go to your the area where you saved at, where your render output was, and you should see a file that has .avi next to it. Now, if I click on this, which is what I saved, then... Oops, that's the wrong one. Anyway, if you uh, find, oh yeah, that's not where I saved it. If you go to the area where you saved it, then you should see the rendered video of the rendered animation that you have here. Just locate that file where you put the render output to, and you'll see the video.avi. Alright, thanks for watching, and have fun learning through Yes Max. See ya.